Hey there guys, Ishak from Shaktik here, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to go back into a little bit of streaming and a bit of animation creation if you want to say. Um, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can animate yourself and use it in your live streams, video calls, um, any kind of virtual meetings. Just like this, and put it into any kind of call or video sharing setting that you want. So, before we start off, um, you're going to need three pieces of software um, and they're all free uh, except for the last one which I'll get into. Uh, you're going to need an NDI plugin. So everything will be linked down below. Now the NDI plugin allows you to stream uh, media off your computer as a virtual camera essentially. So you're able to pick it up in Google Meets or Zoom as a webcam but it's actually streaming some sort of a media output on your computer. And that's absolutely free to download. Second is you're going to need the Adobe Character Animator. Um, that is also free. There's a free version of that. So feel free. You don't have to download the entire Adobe ecosystem to try it out. Um, so download that. And third, now this is where it can get interesting. So you need something that can uh, edit PSD files. Uh, well, PSD files are recommended. So uh, Adobe Photoshop is usually the easiest to just integrate with Adobe Character Animator, but you could also use things such as GIMP, which is a free alternative to Photoshop as well. And so yeah, let's get right into it. So diving into the computer now, um, the first thing you want to do is open up Adobe Character Animator and you'll be brought to this home page. And on this home page, you'll see a whole lot of example puppets. Now, these puppets are uh, essentially the pretty much pre-created uh, models that you can use as your animations in your web calls or recording anything as per se and I really recommend using these example puppets um, especially when you're starting off and I'll show you why as well and there's this one at the top called open puppet maker which is actually really cool in terms of um, being able to generate um, your own uh, puppets so you can choose something like this um, and you can choose whatever style you want so these are like the various ones um, you can see it's already uh, calibrated something but I've already got my own project here so I don't need to and so yeah so I already have a pre-made product so this is also using an example puppet but I'm um, again I, if you want me to do a deep dive into the, how each individual puppet works and whatnot um, some really cool things about these full body ones for example is it actually can track your body so if you have a webcam that you can stand far back from or you have an external webcam and you're able to capture your full body you can actually use your body to animate all these objects as well but for this one I'm going to keep it simple so we're going to be using a pretty much a shoulder up animation so it's pretty much just going to be your heads your eyes your mouth um, etc moving around so I'm going to go into that one Shaktik intro so hey look see it's me so let's just go to rig first so at the top you see these three tabs rig record stream now rig is essentially where you're going to go to see what makes up your animation and being able to go tweak um, any parts of the animation itself so you can see like um, we have a breakdown of all the things so we have glasses hair nose mouth um, etc. I won't dive into detail on these. Usually, these are all set. Most of these are set by default, so you don't really have to touch anything unless you're trying to do something a lot extra and whatnot. But you know, it's really fun to experiment and whatnot. So like, when you select head, you can see we got the head all selected, and you can choose the right eye, and you got the right eye selected. You can do a bit of transformation. Um, again, as I said, this is all set to you by default, and this is a simple 2D whatnot. Now you already probably noticed that. This animation is being customized a little. It's wearing the the Shack Tech hoodie. Um, it's got my glasses on. Got a little beard going on. And the way I did that is really easy. So what you want to do is go to your um, uh, puppet or your animation here. You'll see on the side of your project. Um, click it. I'll select it. Um, so this one is called Proteus. Um, that's just how one of the default animations was called and then you want to click this Photoshop button that opens up at the bottom now if this doesn't open uh, you're gonna to want to right click and then reveal in Explorer and it will take you directly to the um, uh, Photoshop file Proteus so that's the other way to get there and if you're opening it up in GIMP or whatnot but since I got Photoshop installed I'll click that Photoshop button and it, what it does is it'll actually directly load it for me in Photoshop. 
which is really cool. And now this is where the fun happens here. So in here already everything is segregated by folders. You can see on the right you got your mustache, you've got your uh, your head, your glasses, everything. So I can like turn off my glasses and then hit save. So I save the control S. Go back to my character. It will hot reload and then you can see oh the glasses are gone. Um, so that's like really simple. So whatever you do in Photoshop is essentially loaded into Character Animator. Same with um, using it for GIMP or whatnot. Same idea. And so in here I did some really simple things. So the hoodie is actually in the body. It's just a simple layer. Um, I actually added two layers because I wanted it to cover the neck. Um, but yeah, there, there's two layers here uh, in the torso. And in this animation, the torso doesn't move, but the neck moves. But I still wanted the neck to be behind this, so that's why I have two layers um, there. Uh, we have the the mustache, which is actually my beard that I put on. I literally got a Google image, uh, beard photo, put it on. Uh, the original one had this mustache. I don't, my, sadly, my mustache doesn't grow like that. Um, and yeah, just chuck that beard on, added like your default. And yeah, that was really simple to set up. And you can go as creative and crazy as you want. Um, of course, in here you can edit the backgrounds. You can add stuff on top. Uh, maybe draw some circles on here just to just to show the fact that we're you know we're where we're here and behind the character as well. Since we're in some layers, and then you hit Control Save again. Jump back to your character animator. Cool. You have the circles surrounded around you, which is really awesome. Um, once you're happy with your animation or your model, your puppet in this case, um, what you want to do is uh, head over to stream. Now record as well is how I did the introduction. Um, you're able to essentially record <laughs> the entire um, video through here and then send it off um, and then export it as a video file and then use that in as well. But in this case, we're going to be streaming. So we want to stream out an output. Now, when I hit the stream tab, you'll notice in the top right corner is a camera and microphone. And you can see it's drawn some uh, tracking lines on my face. Uh, so it knows where my mouth, where I'm looking, my eyes, a little bit of head movement, neck movement. Um, it's done that. Now, uh, when you come in here for the first time, you're going to want to hit cal calibrate. Um, it will again calibrate so know where your eyes are, your mouth, and the outline of your faces. And once you've got a uh, decent calibration on, um, you, oh, secondly, you need a mic. So it actually bases the mouth movement on noise, not your facial tracking. So um, depending on the words you say, is the way that the mouth is. I can actually show you that in the rig so if I go to mouth and then we go to here we go so on the in the mouth in the, in the mouth you can see the different ways that it pronounces sounds um, and smiles and surprise um, it actually uses that by using the sound so you need a, I would recommend a, yeah you need a mic to do this and record it and so since we're doing the top up only, my neck and my head movement is the only things that I need to really pop it in. And remember again, these are all default settings pretty much, except for like a little bit of customization on my character. Now, to actually get this animation working in a Google Meet call or a Zoom call, you're going to need to um, fire up your NDI software. So uh, make sure you've downloaded that by now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our NDI software. Got it, NDI. Uh, when you download it, you'll get this NDI launcher. Um, the first thing you want to do is click webcam. And what it will do is. Back, sorry, little technical difficulties here. So, what you want to do is you want to click that webcam button. Um, if the webcam comes up and you're not able to install the drivers, just reinstall NDI and it should fix it. That's what happened to me. Uh, when you click webcam, what it will do is it'll actually open up um, something in your system tray called NDI webcam. So if you click that, you can see the various inputs or the various video cams that you can, uh, what you call virtual video cams that you can use. Now, 
um, this one here if you click the um, the cog um, shack tech that's the name of my computer and then it will give you the potential options that you can use to use as an NDI now to actually get your feed working so as you can see uh, it's not right there you want to go to your stream tab top here um, once you're in the stream tab hit calibr calibrate uh, make sure your face is um, in that top corner correctly and it'll quickly pick it up hey my name is Shaq blah 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 and then you want to go down to the bottom of your screen and you'll see this thing at the bottom called stream live and it'll say display seen on active devices NDI output click it it will go blue to show that it's live you lose the uh, squares around the sides and whatnot then hop on over um, back to your NDI webcam input so click that and then you can see um, yeah your uh, character animation is now playing through the NDI output now to actually get this working in a call is really simple so for this I'm going to use uh, Google Meets so we'll go to meets.google.com I'm just going to do a new meeting uh, start an instant meeting And then you can see it's already using this video now um, if this wasn't using my video uh, you go to your more options go to settings video and then make sure to select one of the um, NDI webcams now these are those virtual webcams I was talking about they match exactly what you're seeing um, here so video one is that video two etc etc and if you want to switch back you can go back to integrated camera and whatnot and so yeah, that's how simple it is to get yourself uh, an animated version of yourself into a Google Meets call. Hopefully that was really easy for you to understand. If you want to go into more depth with um, character animation, let me know down in the comments below. You can do quite a lot with this. Um, you can do rigging. Um, it doesn't need to just be your facial movement. You can actually use your mouse and keyboard to control your arms and stuff. Um, or if you want to know any more streaming or um virtual camera tricks as well put it down below thank you very much for watching but as always i bought one and i'll see you in the next one peace